19. Choose the correct order of P, Q, R, S set to complete the paragraph. So you have um, option one and then you have option number six and then you're given uh, four sub options that is P, Q, R, S and you're supposed to fit those four sub options in uh, two, three, four and five. Uh, right, so here one says the phrase Celtic revival describes past movements in literature, the arts, and social practices in which legends, poetry, art, and spirituality of a distinctive kind were revived. And then you have two, three, four, five that you're supposed to fill. And then we have um, sixth one which says it was also evident in art, design, music, and sport. And then you have uh, four other sub options that is P, Q, R, S. Let's read them. P says the most significant Celtic revival took place in Ireland toward the end of the 19th century and into the first two decades of the 20th century. Q says writers and artists identified these with the Celtic people in parts of pre-Christian and early Christian Europe. R says the Irish revival was felt most strongly in literature, drama, and the Irish language. Good. S says, it is commonly referred to as the uh, Irish Revival, though it has also been considered a Celtic revival in Ireland that had associations with revival movements in Scotland, Wales, the English regions, and Brittany. Choose the correct answer from the options given below. Right, so uh, here, first of all, we must try to understand what this word Celtic refers to. The word Celtic, C-E-L-T-I-C, -E that you can see here, um, originally came from this Latin word, which is called Celtus, C-E-L-T-U-S, Celtus, which is majorly used by historians, this word Celtus, okay, it's majorly used by historians, to denote people from six Celtic nations, okay? Number one is called Britain, number two is called Ireland, three is called Scotland, and then we have Wales, and then we have Cornwall, and then we have Isle of Man. So these are six Celtic nations, okay? Um, now, if we look at um, PQRS, our four sub options, uh, in the similar fashion, you see number one, our option one, it says the phrase Celtic revival describes past movements in literature, the arts and social practices in which legends, poetry, art and spirituality of a distant, uh, distinctive kind were revived, right? So that's our option one. Now we are supposed to fill two, three, four and five with P, Q, R and S. So um, if you look at Q, first of all, C. Writers and artists identified these with the Celtic people in parts of pre-Christian and early Christian Europe. What is it trying to describe? It is trying to explain Celtic cultures, right? So we put Q first, since it's trying to um, give us the beginning of how it all started. So writers and artists identified these with the Celtic people in parts of pre-Christian and early Christian Europe. Then we have um, option three that we are supposed to fill. Let's look at P, our another sub option. Uh, the most significant Celtic revival took place in Ireland towards the end of uh, the 19th century and into the first two decades of the 20th century. Why are we putting this here? Because um, of increasing nationalism that was taking place in Ireland during 19th and uh, the beginning of 20th century, which was later also followed by the construction of uh, Abbey Theatre in Ireland. Okay, um, so here we put P as our next sub option, that is, the most significant Celtic revival took place in Ireland. Right, I just told you why, because of increasing nationalism in Ireland in 19th century and in the beginning of 20th century as well. Okay, and then uh, we move on with our other option, which says, um, um, look at the S1, it is commonly referred to as the Irish revival. Since we just spoke about Ireland, so we put S following what we just spoke about, that is P. So it is commonly referred to as what? Irish revival. Why? Since it comes from Ireland. And why from Ireland? Because of increasing nationalism. Right? So easy. 
and then uh, we have our final take which is R that is the Irish revival was felt most strongly in literature drama and the Irish language so here we're trying to bind up our entire thing so R comes in the end so the correct answer here is Q P S R that is option number two.